Hey, good morning, everybody. Mig here from Hopper Adventures. Happy Saturday afternoon or evening whenever you guys get this video. It's early morning for me on Saturday on my second cup of coffee, so it's perfect time to start recording. The goal of this video is to go over the details of the USAW hopper that's coming up. Super excited, deep into planning and packing, and we'll be leaving in the next day or so to go begin working on the course. This video that I'm recording is of a Google slideshow that I will also be emailing to you. And in that will be live links to the map to get to you saw the courses to download them if you haven't, as well as a video of us writing the course last week. This is the view coming up from the start down behind us. If you haven't been there before is you saw beach. We're hoping for praying and praying for a morning like this. So you get a stellar view of the coast. I sent an email last week. If you were already registered and hadn't transferred, you should have gotten that in that covered the following things. We'll go over some of these this morning in this video. The others will be copied and pasted to the end of this slide so that you can go over them. So we'll discuss the road getting in camping. Ride share questions, Grasshopper Facebook group page. This is where people can uh, find someone to drive with if they need a better vehicle to get in, um, etc. The routes, transfers, talk about time cutoff, lunch podium, feed zone, tires, registration packet pickup, bathrooms and water, departures either Saturday afternoon, evening or Sunday morning and the cause of the event, working with Redwood Forest Foundation and their Saturday fireside chat and their, their uh, Sunday hike. Of course, our wooden block awards will be from 2023. Look at those beautiful rings on that Redwood. More to come on that story. First things first, you gotta get there. And as we've posted on the web page since before opening registration is that part of the journey is this you saw road getting in. This of course is highway one off of 101 from Leggett. You can of course come from Mendocino Fort Bragg going north on highway one. This is faster than doing highway 128 in Boonville, highway 20 in Fort Bragg uh, or Branscombe out of Laytonville. So any of those other ways. So this is Highway 1 all the way here. And just before you get to, well, actually, it's quite a few miles before you get to the coast, there'll be a turn here. Uh, you saw road, it'll be marked and it's about six miles. The road getting in, as I've posted in case you haven't seen, is in the condition it has been uh, for the last couple of years. Um, there's some steep and rutted parts. Um, the crux of the move is right as you get off highway one, there's a steep pitch where you need to be careful, especially if you're in two wheel drive, four wheel drive, you have no problem. All wheel drive, no problem. Two wheel drive. You need to be careful. Uh, we don't anticipate any rain. If it were muddy, uh, that would be, that would be a big problem. So it's steep getting up here and it's steep going down into the coast. There's a little bit of narrow exposure right here, but there's plenty of room, uh, to drive carefully and to get to the beach. Please remember this road will be open the whole weekend. This is a county road and vehicles are coming and going both directions. When you get there, this is a map of the campground area, more or less. So this is a Usall Beach State Campground. There's no reservations to this. So we gave you an idea of where you guys will find spots. This area right here is where Grasshopper headquarters will be. So as you come in Friday afternoon, um, you'll see us here on the left hand side. We'll have registration um, between 5 and 8 p.m. So you guys can take care of things and not have to deal with that in the morning or early in the morning as soon as we can get going. We're going to shoot for 630 or 7 until the start at 830. There's camping in this area as well. As you see, as you're driving along, you can come in here along Usall Creek. Um, 
as you come in here, you'll cross a bridge and coming down this road towards the beach, there's lots of really cool camping tucked into the trees here, as well as in the trees in this area. If the creek is dry, um, there's oftentimes spots across this way, which you guys can explore and check out. And then there's some camping in this area. Uh, the sand is loose this year, so if you don't have four-wheel drive, don't get stuck. In addition to that is if you go on this side over here, back in this way, there's some really cool camp spots, quite a few back in here, um, as well as some down this road. This is all state parks up until you get to the gate that is Redwood Forest Foundation. As soon as you cross this junction, you begin to go up the USAL Road, which is very steep. Um, as a reminder, so we only have access, access to the Redwood Forest Foundation land um, on the day of our event. And so if you're riding, if you're out there, then you need to only be on the county road on Friday or Thursday whenever you're there. Please don't go over the gates into the Redwood Forest Foundation. They've asked us to, to insist that you don't do that. They're still working out there. They're going to have trucks and machinery, uh, and it's important that we respect that so we can continue to be able to use their land. Uh, this road is infinite. If you have time to ride, I really recommend riding up the USAL Road as far as you dare. It's uh, about 1,600 feet over three miles heading out towards Kenny, but it'll give you a sense of what the road's going to be like. So that's camping. Uh, we will, again, in the Google, Google uh, Slides, you'll have a uh, link to this map. So the Chiquito route, let's go first over uh, the route for Chiquito and how it's going to start. Uh, this is going to be a live link for you guys. Again, make sure you download it and then we'll go over the Mediano and the Mero Mero. So the Chiquito route um, is different than the others just slightly. Uh, the start time is at 8.30 and not 9. So the riders from Chiquito will, from the campground, oops, from the campground, they're going to go up the USAL Road. They'll be led by the marshals, and there'll be someone at the intersection. And then you're going to cross USAL Creek, and you'll go up M&M Road to the feed zone here. Okay. Whereas the folks from Mediano and Mero Mero will be um, taking USAL Road to Highway 1 to the feed zone. There should be plenty of time to get here before the, the medium and long course get to you guys, but just so you know. And do not go up this road. Last year, some folks missed this turn and did the entire course in reverse. Still a great ride, but that's that's just not how it goes. All right, you guys? Um, so again, 830 for Chiquito route. Once you get to this feed zone, you guys will head up Highway 1, heading back east towards Leggett, and then do this section of M WRP road, it's called, and the gates will be open. So again, Chiquito, up m and &M, across the ridge on WRP. And at this point right here, we'll have an EMT and or someone else there making sure that we've kept track of the last rider. And from here, the rest of the day, you'll be on course of everybody else. All right, so we're going to go over in detail the Mero Mero Mediano course. Just a little bit of climbing, all right? So this is a butterfly course for Mero Mero and a single loop for the Mediano, okay? So Mero Mero, Mediano will take off at nine. You guys go, you, you take USAL Road to Highway 1, right here as you'll see driving in. It descends into Highway 1 where it's difficult to look right for oncoming traffic. So please come to a stop or a very close to a stop make sure your that the road is clear to the right and to the left before you roll onto highway one there's no reason to speed through that to somehow save time you'll have, be at the end of a ripping descent and then you're going to have a nine mile pavement section here um, there's no advantage to run through that stop sign okay 
So Mero Mero Mediano takes Highway 1, approximately 9 miles. You guys can see this right here. Uh, it's a gradual rolling climb, flats out a little bit, and then another climb up to this intersection where you guys will make the turn onto what is M&M &M, &M Road, okay? Down here in this area, I want to point out to you guys, we're going to have about uh, 10 of the Sportful Marshals. So if you do come across somebody who needs help, make sure you let them know they'll have radios or access to a radios. We have one EMT out on course that's basically a SAG mixed in with the vehicles. And then we have an EMT that's down in this area. Okay, Lori will be positioned down in here. Let a marshal know, let someone know if anybody needs help. Okay, Mero Mero Mediano, you descend the m, &M road. I'll have caution signs. These corners are very sharp and broken away. It looks like we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spicy loose turns okay uh, especially those of you on gravel bikes i've done it a couple of times recently on my epic seat dropper big tires and was still coming you know near the edge of the road so be careful we get down here this is an important part to make the correct turn so mero mero and mediano at this point you guys will go right here okay so there'll be a sign so you continue on you saw creek do not go back towards the beach at this point. All right, do not go back this direction. At this point, you'll see you come along the creek and then you've got this climb up here. It's about a 1400 foot climb over three or four miles. It's very, 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 very steep. Which will put you on the WRP road. Rolling along here, you see along the ridge, zip, 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 zip. Beautiful, beautiful, uh, super nicely rocked road up until this junction here, which is the Yokohama Road. Make sure at this intersection, you you follow the sign going, going west, all right? There is a road which goes this direction, east to the Eel River. You do not wanna do that, all right? And this will bring you to the holy land of feed zone number two. Everyone will get to feed zone number two. Um, we'll have Jesse there. Thanks, Jesse, again, from Boonville Bike Works uh grilling sandwiches and good snacks for you guys um notice the distance between feed zone one and feed zone two make sure that you leave with two full bottles uh you'll need them you'll be getting near the end of it um if you want to carry a third uh, if you're a big drinker that's not a bad idea uh, we're not able to staff a third feed zone out here so you'll need to get from this feed zone to this feed zone there to the finish, no problem, okay? At this point, you guys are gonna be on the USAW road. And uh, as I mentioned in the next couple slides, you'll see that there's a video to see what this is like. This is the county road. This is the section where I say, if you're on a gravel bike, you're gonna be under biking. There's just no two ways about it. Some parts it's gonna seem perfect, uh, but you're gonna have uh, some rutted sections where you're gonna have to go side to side, avoid not to shoot it down the um, ruts. I'll mark caution as much as possible when it's super sketchy, but just assume this entire section is caution. And there's some very rocky sections as well. So we don't want you guys having to deal with flats or mechanicals. As a reminder about the remoteness of this course, right? I know people like to shred, uh, but just be extra aware there can be vehicles on the course and getting to people basically anything that's more than just like an abrasion something that's big, that's a helicopter ride out of here. So, um, you know, smooth before fast. Um, and then it finishes with this descent down into, you notice this drop right here. So it's about 15, 1600 feet down to sea level. All right. So uh, folks that are doing the uh, Mediano and the Chiquito are just going to, at this point, go all the way back to the finish area. And those doing the Mero Mero, there's going to be a left-hand turn in the campground area right before you get there that's going to send you back out onto the course. Please make sure you have this course downloaded so that you're able to navigate. Um, at this point here at the bottom, this is where we're going to have the time cutoff as well. So when you get down to here, 2 o'clock is the latest. So remember, the Mediano course is about 45 miles and 6,500 feet of climbing. So um, 
if you if you've had enough roll back to the feed zone that's a big add to add the mero mero which is the extra wing the last wing of the butterfly um two o'clock or later you have to go we can't be out there all keeping track of you if you get there before two you're still welcome to go back to food and beer at this area all right all right so those are the courses for you guys Now, the video here, I'm not going to play this for you guys. You can find it on the YouTube. I do recommend you watch it. Um, it's the long version of the course of me narrating through some of the stuff following Roger. Note that he's uh, we're both on our specialized epics just because it was a fun, long weekend. Um, it's certainly a good course for a gravel bike, um, but just you know, make sure that your tires are in good condition. Make sure your brake pads are new. Make sure everything's dialed in. Mike Berna. Uh, is going to be there Friday night and Saturday morning to help tweak a couple things. But please don't leave your bike um, unkept, uncared for. You've got a whole week to plan ahead. Uh, we will have some, we have these new or not uh, custom grasshopper bags, which didn't quite get here in time for the rest of our, for our, the grasshopper series. We'll have those available as well as hats and t-shirts. Cash only, there is no cell reception down at the beach for Venmo and or PayPal. I won't go over all of this as we have discussed this a little bit, but again, in the, in the uh, Google um, slides, these links will be live for you guys. Camping, as a reminder, uh, we're gonna fit in there fine, but as they're not numbered discrete sites, um, people can you know camp close to each other, please, uh, Make sure to be inviting. You're going to meet lots of new folks as well. Get to hang out with your longtime buddies. Um, and this is a reminder that the web page is updated. If we need to cha change anything as well as a link to this video, I'm going to post it on the web page. So if you have friends that are coming in late, uh, if someone is transferring, you're transferring last minute to somebody, they can just have your name. It's 20 bucks to transfer day of. Um, in addition to that, you can edit and change the routes online right now for yourself on bike reg for no fee. And then day of, it's going to be 20 bucks for us to enter the data and spend the time doing that. The day of, if you change from longer to shorter, that's not a problem. Just let us know at results. Um, we won't be able to score your time if you're in Mero Mero and do Mediano. Um, but let the people know so we can keep track of you. Reminder that the start times for Chiquito is 8.30 a.m. And the Mediano Mero Mero is at 9. So we'll stage in the uh, camping spot for Grasshopper headquarters, not on the county road. All right. Lunch, we've got Chef Correa doing uh, sausage and home-baked buns and a couple different kinds of salad, homemade brownies. He'll have lemonade. Um we're asking that you guys use your own cups or your uh, bike bottles to reduce garbage. We'll also have uh, beer, best day brewing, guayaki, um, other things as well. Make sure that you guys have your own water supplies at camp. So we're not going to have enough for everyone to fill up their bottles at the start. As it is, I think we have to haul 45 five-gallon bottles, which is going to be the max for us to get out there. Reminder of the bikes and tires, which you guys have hopefully have read and gone over that. Bathrooms, uh, they have rustic to say the best pit toilets at Usol Beach. We are going to have toilets placed um, at the registration portos as well as in the main area, at, at central part of the campground and one at the first feed zone. In terms of departure, leaving the venue, we'll ask that riders don't leave after the race on Saturday uh, until everyone, until the course is cleared. So you're not driving back uh, against the riders. So don't plan on a quick exit as soon as you're done and have your lunch and had your lunch. We need to ask that people stay off the road until everyone's cleared. Hopefully you're able to stay and to spend the night. Here's the link uh, with Redwood Forest Foundation. Uh, and we encourage you guys to find out more what those guys are up to. This is what's getting us out to the land. They're, they're doing a fantastic job. 
And with that, last year, uh, we recorded a podcast with Linwood Gill and Richard Ginger, uh, one of the founders of the Redwood Forest Foundation. He's been an activist up in the Whitethorn area, the Matoll River, since the 70s, has some great stories about the history of logging and activism um, up there, which is a very um, important theme as we're looking to um, do everything that we can to mitigate and uh, the damage that humans are causing to, to the uh, earth, especially with climate mitigation. And up there, the work that they're doing to create uh, lasting sustainable jobs as economy is, uh, is essential for the folks up there as it is for all of us wherever we live. So that's our video. That's a preview of the course. Remember that one of the key things is that you guys can use the Facebook chat group so that you can ask and answer questions about bikes, about driving, um, about conditions, et cetera. For those of you that have been there, help people out. If you haven't, you guys can ask questions also to trade your, to trade your spots if you need to, right? Uh, you had your, your campground link to the beach. You guys have the map on how to get there. Um, and then you have the video of the preview of the course. All right. So that's me getting you guys ready for the hopper. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend, getting things together. Have a safe trip up there. I'll be up there Wednesday, Thursday, marking the course. Friday, doing some of the last minute details. And this weekend, getting things packed and ready to go. Okay, so rubber side down, see you all soon.